This is the Galactic Emperor of the Universe. I'm here to tell you all to subscribe to Unrelent Gaming and remember to turn on notifications. You will be the first to know all about the latest Dragon Ball news and information. Oh, oh, did you say Unrelent Gaming? Oh, I love his channel. God damn it, Zalbon! Stop rubbing your nipples and get back to bed! Gohan is undoubtedly Universe 7's lead player as team leader going further in the Tournament of Power as Gohan seems to play a key role behind what may or may not happen leading into the ending of the Tournament of Power, and given his nature on today's video, we are going to be diving into 5 predictions surrounding Gohan within the Tournament of Power that I personally feel may happen, and as always, this is an opinionated video, so if you have any prediction of your own in which I challenge you all to post, 5 predictions of your own for Gohan and Gohan only down in the comments and seeing where exactly the community stands on the subject of Gohan in this tournament and in case you haven't already be sure to go on ahead and punch that subscribe button and turn on notifications that way you guys can be notified whenever a Dragon Ball video is posted onto this channel hashtag notification squad and just in case you guys have missed out before be sure to go on ahead and check out my Goku predictions video within the tournament of power as I do cover a similar subject and pertains to Goku and Goku only now to start things off my first prediction for Gohan is I do believe that Gohan will be the one to eliminate the Pride Trooper leader known as Topo from universe number 11. Given Gohan's position, I don't necessarily believe that Gohan is going to be ringed out relatively early in the tournament. I do think that given Gohan's nature and role as leader, Gohan's bound to collide against not only the fodder fighters from the other universes, but also against some of the universe's strongest, one of which having to include Topo. So I personally feel having to look at his role, it'll be suitable for Gohan's character to be relevant within the Tournament of Power and not only battling against one of the strongest characters within the Tournament of Power, but also giving him a chance to actually look strong by eliminating Topo in the actual battle. Now the reason for that is because you're going to have one team leader overcome the other, in which I do think that Gohan is going to specifically focus on teamwork and teamwork only, as opposed to various others, but when it comes down to Gohan and Topo, I personally feel that yes, Topo should engage with some of the strongest, and I do think that for Topo's finale in this tournament, it ought to be up against Gohan and having to battle against the son of the person that you deem to be evil as Topo does deem Goku to be absolute evil even prior to the Zen exhibition match and having Gohan not only contest against the strongest in which Topo is set to be a candidate to become a future god of destruction but we also saw the capabilities of Topo against Super Saiyan Blue Goku and what better person to have go up against such a contender like Topo than Gohan and seeing how far ultimate Gohan can push himself in overcoming one of the strongest fighters within the tournament of power given the setting and given the nature, Gohan does operate from a team-like basis to where he's sticking with his unit rather than fighting as an individual fighter in this tournament as seen with Frieza, 17, 18, Vegeta, and Goku, which is why I think once everyone else is eliminated, it's going to force Gohan to have his back up against the wall and fighting by himself, and what better person to have eliminate Topo than I think Gohan and having to progress his character forward, as thus far in Dragon Ball Super, we haven't seen Gohan do relatively anything in the show, so to give the character some credibility, I predict that both team leaders from universe number 11 and universe number 7 are going to collide, in which the end result is going to be Gohan having to eliminate Topo within the Tournament of Power. Which leads into my second prediction for Gohan, which includes Gohan and Piccolo's teamwork will eventually break off. Now, I think that Piccolo and Gohan having to look at their overall group that consists of Ten Shinhan, Piccolo, Gohan, and Roshi, I think between Roshi and Ten Shinhan, those two are going to be eliminated relatively early before Gohan and Piccolo, which will ultimately leave Gohan and Piccolo together, having to function in sync as a cohesive unit until the team of Gohan and Piccolo breaks, with Piccolo having to be eliminated before Gohan. And even having to look back at Dragon Ball Super Episode 99, we see how Krillin is the first person among the five-man team to be eliminated by the hands of Frost. Now we're only down to four people within that group, as I feel like the final two are going to be Gohan and Piccolo, but I also feel as if Piccolo and Gohan teamwork will only take them so far as they come across bigger powers such as possibly Hit and Jiren during the tournament as I do think that those characters alone are enough to solo the team of Gohan and Piccolo but even with that it's the result of Piccolo having to be eliminated that I think is going to trigger Gohan into truly being on his own which ultimately will lead into my first prediction in having Gohan be the singular person remaining from that five-man unit as originally Gohan wanted to stick with the plan and using teamwork as it would make sense for Gohan 
to go far enough with his team in being the last man standing among the five man unit that he was with before, but I do think that Gohan and Piccolo will work as a cohesive unit having to combo and solo many other fighters until coming across bigger powers, in which even as an end result similar to the Cell Saga, I think that Gohan is going to tap more into his emotions and seeing his friends get eliminated, in particular Piccolo, which I think similar to the Cell Saga is going to cause Gohan to fight more proficiently and using his emotions and seeing that everything is on the line and that his team is dwindling down and now he feels responsible in carrying on and winning the tournament for his respective universe. In any case, my third prediction for Gohan is I do think that Gohan is going to have a massive power increase. As seen in Dragon Ball Super Episode 90, Gohan specifically told Goku that his goal is to obtain an ultimate form that nobody has ever seen before. And after following that, Gohan repeated by saying, I'm going to aim for that with a different method than you, father, which talking to Goku. I don't think that Gohan is going to achieve a Super Saiyan Blue or Super Saiyan Rage-like power, but I do think that Gohan is going to execute his ultimate form in having to tap deeper into his emotions in realizing everything that's on the line and seeing all his teammates be eliminated, which includes Tien, Master Roshi, Piccolo, and several others, and realizing the fact that Pan's life is on the line and executing the fact that Gohan has done nothing this entire time to even be remotely close to Goku, in which at some given point, I think that Gohan is going to break his own potential in unleashing a new power, but what this power may be lies within the hands of the viewers, as some people suggest that Gohan is going to achieve a quote-unquote Super Saiyan White form based on the old interview Akira Toriyama gave off, in which gives us the idea that Toriyama originally wanted to include a Super Saiyan White-like form, but ultimately put the form on hold given the fact that there was going to be a white-haired enemy within Dragon Ball Super that turned out to be Zamasu. If you guys can go on ahead and pull that old interview up, you can clearly go on ahead and read it for yourselves, but I don't think that necessarily Gohan is going to tap into any sort of Super Saiyan White form. I think that ultimately enough, he will tap into his mystic power, he will tap deeper into his ultimate power in achieving something that he himself never even thought was achievable in his current state, in which can also tie into the fact that Gohan's ultimate power may not be enough to sustain himself within the tournament, as I'm also predicting that Ultimate Gohan will fall to the likes of Jiren, to the likes of Hit, in which forces Gohan to come to the realization that he simply does not have the powers, the necessary powers, to keep up against such beings, and which is going to force him ultimately once again to revisit the Cell Saga and seeing how much deeper he tapped into his emotions after seeing 16 be destroyed and recreating a similar moment to that, but what this new power may be is unknown, but it's unquestionable that Gohan is going to get a massive power boost that's going to take his powers to the next level, but what that power may be is unknown as of right now, but I don't think it's going to be Super Saiyan White or Super Saiyan Blue, but something different to a sense where Gohan even told his father that he wanted to achieve an ultimate form similar to him, to the likes in which nobody has ever seen before, and I think by the fall of his teammates, by the fall of his own power not being strong enough to compete against some of the other fighters, I think that Gohan will come to that realization, and which is ultimately going to cause Gohan to tap deeper into his emotions and inner strength, and harnessing this power onto the surface, and which leads into my fourth prediction, that having to be Gohan having to have some sort of altercation with Frieza. I think it's clear more so than anything else that everyone in this tournament who plays a major role, that being Goku, Gohan, and possibly even Vegeta, are going to have an exchange of words, if anything, problems with Frieza on the team. Keep in mind, Frieza is the only person in this tournament who has a hidden agenda in trying to suit his own needs rather than fighting for the protection of the overall universe in which he comes from, so in which case I do think that Gohan is going to heavily try to persuade Frieza in working together, not more alongside with him, but just as a team in general in which I think Frieza is going to refuse, as I really can't see Frieza coinciding with Goku, Vegeta, or Gohan in this tournament, not unless he has to, at least for the namesake of throwing out Goku, I can definitely see Frieza trying to save one of the fighters as he wants to be the one to eliminate them later on, but even with that being said, I can definitely see Gohan and Frieza Frieza having an exchange of words, because as of right now, Gohan is the captain, and Frieza takes orders from nobody, so it'll be an interesting concept to see Gohan.
Gohan trying to bark orders at Frieza and Frieza having to refuse because he doesn't take orders from simple minded monkeys. In which finally leads into my final prediction for Gohan and Gohan having to last longer than anyone else from Team Universe number 7 and having to remain as a finalist for Team Universe number 7 in the Tournament of Power. Now depending on how you want to view this, Gohan potentially possesses the necessary skill set and either A going as far as being a finalist and B even possibly winning the Tournament of Power as again we haven't seen Gohan do anything in Dragon Ball Super so having Gohan at bare minimum having to be a finalist for Team Universe 7 would do his character so much justice in the idea that during BOG, ROF, during the Champa arc and the Goku Black story Gohan wasn't involved in the least to do anything credible and displaying what he can do as a fighter and now having to see him go as far as possibly being either one of the last ones remaining would do his character justice. Now again depending on your viewership on Gohan we can either have two scenarios play out either A Gohan wins the tournament or B something happens to Gohan and which triggers Goku in breaking past his limits in which I do believe that Goku the whole time knew about some sort of method to break past his limits in which I don't think that Goku is going to use Gohan as any sort of motivation to break past Super Saiyan Blue but more or less I can see Gohan having to use Goku as motivation and seeing his father in trouble in which having to look at the outro for Dragon Ball Super now which displays Goku and Gohan having to charge in together I do think that that was foreshadowed and Gohan having to be the last one remaining for his team and having to work with his father and further progressing in the tournament again depending on the scenario I don't think that in any way shape or form Gohan is suitable enough to compete against the likes of Jiren or Hit not unless of course Gohan taps into a new power that we've never seen before can he only rival the powers of said characters but by the end of it I can definitely see Gohan having to make it as one of the finalists until he possibly gets eliminated by the likes of Jiren but not until displaying what Gohan can truly do from a tournament like setting that redeems his character by the end but again depending on the way you look at this one of two scenarios can play out either a Goku's gonna win the tournament or b surprisingly enough Gohan has the moment of the tournament of power and having to win it all for his universe and thus securing their position and having to be the final universe surviving within this grand tournament but I would like to know what you guys have to say down in the comment section below in pertains to Gohan what are your overall thoughts and predictions for Gohan how far do you see Gohan going in the tournament of power do you see him having any exchange of words with Frieza do you see Gohan tapping into a brand new power that we've never seen before what are your overall expectations on Gohan possibly having to win the tournament of power let me know your thoughts down below guys thank you all for watching as always if you guys are new to the channel be sure to go on ahead and punch that subscribe button and turn on notifications that way you guys can be notified whenever I post a Dragon Ball video onto this channel hashtag notification squad if you guys have missed out my Goku video be sure to go on ahead and check that out and also let me know your thoughts on Goku having to go further in the tournament of power Gohan as a whole I think more so now than ever has the greatest chance in redeeming what was scrub Gohan in Dragon Ball Super and finally having some moments to where people can be proud of calling Gohan one of their favorite characters I don't think that Gohan by the end of this tournament is going to be by any means the MVP I think that having to look at how they're building the tournament now Goku and Jiren are going to be the MVP stars of this tournament as they are going to have possibly the best fight of the entire tournament but as for Gohan I can definitely see Gohan having more of an important role than anybody else in which even includes Goku and having to utilize teamwork and having to be a person that you know capitalizes on his emotions and having to tap deeper into his powers but I want to know what you guys have to say down below thank you all for watching once again tune back in for more and I'll be seeing you all down the comment section below have a great day everybody peace